Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 14 by 14 inch canvas and a desire to do a weird swipe. And I made up some blue that's an, an enamel, an acrylic enamel, because people keep assuming enamel is only an oil and that's not true. So what I'd like to do is create an hourglass shape. And I'm going to start on the inside. And what am I going to start with? Uh, I think we're going to start with some white. That might or might not be something that makes me happy. Got to start somewhere. And this time, because I have been getting way too much paint, I'm going to go ahead and flatten some of that out. I'm also going to get some of my bottles out of the way. Now, I considered doing this with a cotton rag, but I have so many acetate sheets to swipe with that I might as well just go ahead and try that. I would like to make sure some of my bottles are open. And I can, oh, I can move my torch out of the way. I might want to take the top off that. I might want to wish that would come out a little better. I'm going to try and go for just really pretty colors and hope for the best and keep wishing that they'd be open, but uh, that's just not ever going to happen, I don't think. I did give myself some fresh skewers, so at least I don't have to fight with the points. Who knows what this is going to look like? I have no clue. But that's why I do experiments, so I can figure it out. Now I may fill in with colors in between, or I may not. Ooh, I made myself a nice new purple. Which I can put an abundance of down without being afraid of running out. I have, or had, a beautiful blue around here somewhere. Where did you go, beautiful blue? There we go. I wonder if I've got any of that left. I think I'll use some of that as my first swipe color. Planning on swiping in from both sides, and no matter how tidy it looks now, it's probably not going to look anything like that along the way. I want some much brighter orange. That's probably not going to make much difference in the long run. All right, I'm going to give myself one of those right here. And I don't use nearly enough yellow, so I'm going to do that too. I want some turquoise, which I think would be really great next to that purple. I want some black, but I think the black that I want is going to have to be enamel. And the black enamel is going to have to be on this side. Well, I might go this way and then that way. We'll see what happens. That is a metallic blue, and I have no idea. I think it's just a craft paint. I don't even think it's an Anitas, which it usually would be an Anitas. That did not get shaken. So this is looking more and more like a rainbow every second. The only thing that's missing is the red. So why don't I pull out my favorite magenta. Put it next to that purple. And then I really want some black, but I'm going to use some more of this... Uh, yes, I, <laughs> I'm actually going to use some of this blue enamel right there. That might be very risky putting it next to that orange. 
there's no doubt that could be very risky. And I'm going to use some black and some more purple. And I really haven't used any of my super brights, which I want to, but this needs to be with white. So you just start with that hourglass shape. What else have I not used today? Probably not very much of my uh, minty green folk art color shift. That was next to the purple. Not really leaving myself an awful lot of room to do things I need to. So it's time to grab some purple, darker purple, next to the other purple. One side is a lot more full than the other, it seems like. I'm going to throw my spatula in the bucket really quickly and try and get the colors off of it. I do have some pre-cut swipe cards. I am going to grab a container, at least one, that I might want to knock my colors off into. And I'm going to use, where's the black? I want gold and I want black. More gold and more black. That was next to the, that was between the purples. That's really not likely right now. All right, I have no idea. <laughs> I make it up as I go along, you know that. And I'm really thinking that I'm gonna have plenty, plenty of paint to do whatever I want. So, where's my black? That's the only most important thing right now. And the black that I want, is going to be this enamel, acrylic enamel. Now because I can, I'm going to go, let some of that go over. Let that drain down. Actually, I think I'm just going to put the rest of that back in there. It's not looking like that's my method that I really want to use. So why don't I just try and pick up some of that enamel and try a different method. And make, I'm making muck. Beautiful colors made to muck. Not my finest hour yet. All right. So maybe the sides, the edges will make up for that. I think I should have used just lots brighter colors there. I got a really pretty card. <laughs> Not that that really helps at the moment. I wonder why that's not going down. Maybe I have to press it down. So I'm just going to go willy-nilly all over the place. I keep coming back and pressing down. I'm trying not to be too disappointed with myself and see if I can prove that I can make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Might take me more than one try. That card is really disappointing me, but I like abstract art, so I'm not really disappointed with my design so far. And the canvases are primed, so if I really wanted to keep something, I could. I gotta say that is the plan that worked out the least of any plan I've ever tried, but it's still pretty. I want some more white in there. And I think I'm gonna use 
my neon folk art multi-surface purple. Now that dug right down. Wow. I'm just having a moment. Aren't you glad everybody's getting, having a moment? Well, I don't know about everybody having a moment in the other way that we might be talking about, considering what's going on in history at the moment. I'm just going to be pouring all this paint right onto an 8 by 10 inch canvas and saying to heck with it. In the meantime, as disappointed as I might be, I have some cool cells. And I like the painting, <laughs> in spite of myself. It does just make me want to put a basting brush in there and see if I can have some fun. I've got some really nice cells though. I haven't actually tipped one of these after I've used the basting brush on it. And I'm kind of thinking of it. I throw that in the bucket. Put some colors that I like in places I like them. Bite the bullet and admit that did not work out the way I would like it to. Wondering if I can get away with some chain. What can we dredge up? Yeah, that might work very well, actually. Especially if I pull that mass of paint right down over that edge and let it cover it. I think that needs to go into my chain bath and for me to grab another one. And do I want to? Yes, I do. We're just playing with chain because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath show more. Let's get down and get funky. Oh, that's not going to come out. Come on. I love that at least it's not completely clogged so that I can't get it out of there. Let's try the, uh, the blue enamel in there. It doesn't have any shimmer. I don't like that pink. So I'm going to do something about it right now. got schmutzy chain. And some mucky colors. <laughs> and some beautiful colors. So not the end of the world. I'm going to let those colors drip right over the side. That's that chain is going in the bucket. I could put some black and white in there. I'm basically just having fun now. I'm just getting rid of my disappointed disappointment and having some fun. Oh look, a smiley face. <laughs> we can waggle these out or we can drag them a little bit. Probably could have just tipped. I could still tip. Let's 
not what I was expecting to be doing about now. Oh, I found my other pair of glasses I was looking for. I can't really tell if that blue enamel worked or not. I think I'm just going to put some spirals into my gold waggles, whatever you want to call them. Add some strange texture that'll make me feel like things are working better than I thought they were going to work. Because I get stuck with a frustration like this and I'm just liable to do anything to make it up to myself. And then I'm going to run out of time. And I can tell you guys if you, uh, if you watch the videos longer you may help my ability to stay at YouTube. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you share my videos, that's a big assistance to me. If uh, if I want to do something else to this, I could tip it. Just let everything meld a little bit. You never know, I could add zebra stripes to it tomorrow and it'd be just wonderful. Yes, okay, where was I? Um, there's over 1200 videos and you can access them on my playlists on my channel. You can also find tomorrow's video on uh, community board. I like that little yellow spot. I kind of kind of makes me want some more though. Just to lead the eye around. And if I'm very careful, I may not make total green. I need a little bit more. Get full advantage of our rainbow colors. Oh, this is the day everybody's decided to mow their lawn. All right, so I'm going to torch and call this interesting. And I don't know if it's going to be part one or done. Depends on what it looks like tomorrow. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expression Art Studio Gallery in the back there. Saying, Thank you for joining me. Look on the end screens for the exhibition video that will share with you the prizes for this month's drawing. And if you're interested in joining the drawing, it's a $10 minimum donation and I send you a receipt when PayPal or Patreon, whose icons are on my channel header and whose links are directly under the video, under Show More, joined by Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and my paint pouring recipe, you can find almost everything you're looking for right under there. And that color that I love that may save this is my folk art neon purple. I live in hope. I kind of want some more black. This may be a little different when you see it next. <laughs> but I think because there's enamels in there, it may continue to change as, as well. There. I'm, I'm getting closer. I'm probably going to keep working right up until you're gone. So I love you guys. There's almost 86,000 of you. Uh, check your notifications and subscribe if you haven't. And if you do subscribe and you want notifications, then ring that bell choose all because otherwise you probably won't get them this is actually kind of cool I'm not hating on it anymore that's an iridescent pink so that'll probably look interesting tomorrow Care. I'll see you guys in on. Please give me a thumbs up if you're still here. I love you. I like that I found my other glasses. Not what I expected.